Hello and welcome to The Point. Bit of a weird one this week, folks, because I'm out of the office quite a bit this week doing something super secret and super tedious and I don't really have enough time to edit like a full point thing with all the fast cuts and stuff. But this week I wanted to talk about a game series that I've never actually played, but all of my friends play, Pokemans. After all these years, is it worth me starting? Pokemon, Pocket Monsters, Freak Watsits. Whatever you call them, they're a global sensation. For the past 17 years, they've been entertaining children the world over. Some of these children have grown up to be adults, and many of those adults still play the latest Pokemon's games. But I didn't own a Nintendo growing up, so I had to settle with training my two cats to fight. Sadly, both of them died in a tragic non-cat combat related incident, and I swore to never indulge in any animal cruelty ever again. But this Pokemon looks really fun, and everyone else in the office seems to be loving it. So I did that thing you do when all your friends are playing something and you're thinking of getting in on it. I stood them in front of a camera and asked them stupid questions. Are you going to play that music for the entire thing? <laughs> no, it's just the bit where I get to choose the three, between the three starter Pokemon and they're all shit. Johnny, did you play Pokemon before? Uh, yes, I played blue and I played yellow. And then I picked up X because I realised everyone was talking about it so much that I couldn't not play it. Cameron, do you play Pokemon? Never ever played Pokemon, Danny. Why don't you play Pokemon like um, me? Because I never really had a Nintendo thing that I could play Pokemon on. That's the same reason I never played really? Pokemon. Really? Yeah. Never played it. First Pokemon. Mm. Pokemon Yellow. Oh, a very, very, very long time ago now you're thinking about it. Name a Pokemon. Pikachu. Name another Pokemon. Uh, Snorlax. What do you have in your hands? I have my Game Boy Color which comes complete with Pokemon Blue and Yellow. Yellow as well? Yellow as well, because Pikachu. Uh, the fish one? What's the fish one? <laughs> I think there's Magic more... Magikarp. That's right. the one, yeah, yeah. Uh, keep going. Um, keep trying to name Pokemon. Um, well, I've come over here to play Pokemon, because when you street pass with the new Pokemon, you get more Pokemiles if you're street passing with people who are from further away. Really? So I'm listed in game as being from California. Right. So if I street pass with people from London, I'm getting loads of Pokemiles I can use to buy rare candies and such. Peak, Pokemon. Uh, no, I don't know anyone. Raichu. What is so good about Pokemon? It's not the story, because it's just catch all the cute things. So is it like a nostalgia thing? Well, the only reason that I even bought this game is nostalgia. Partly, yeah. I mean, I, I definitely get more excited when I'm catching one of the original 151, because mm. there are like 700 Pokemon now, and I really don't give a shit about those. It's the mechanics. It's literally, I have to collect them all, and I know it sounds stupid, and I know it's like some weird marketing ploy, totally works. That's all it is. That's what that game is. It's collecting. It's much like when the card game was big. You just want to collect all the cards. Why? They're just pieces of card with fake animals on them. There's no need for it, yet you do it, right? And it's just, it's that compulsion that makes that game great. Wait, so how come Pikachu doesn't go on a Pokeball? The uh, Pikachu in the original show just hates going in Pokeballs. Yeah, he freaks out. It's, yeah, because it's the worst. Yeah. It's like a cage. Yeah. He's just, but it's only him. So, so is that not really messed up? It's like all the Pokemon hate. <laughs> They're like fighting each other and then they're put in a cage. And it's only this <laughs> this one Pokemon is like, just is like, no, exactly. I've had enough. If you think about, I, I watched a, a show a while ago on uh, smuggling exotic species. <laughs> and there was a guy with a monkey inside a basketball. And it makes me want to, like, I feel like Pokemon is kind of training people for that kind of stuff. And they're making them fight. Yes. <laughs> they live to fight. <laughs> they serve no other purpose. Uh, which Pokemon did you pick at the start? I chose Chespin. Everyone chose Chespin! Chespin, because he was really cute. He looked like a little three-toed sloth, and then he evolved into something else, and it's hideous, and I hate it. <laughs> so I'm trying to like power level him so he looks better, because apparently his like, third evolution is, is good. So this is the, the big moment. You're going you're gonna to pick your new Pokemans. I think I'm going to get... I'm going to get Chespin, the green naff one. Is he a chess piece? Have you seen the one that's a pair of keys? What? <laughs> There's one that's a pair of keys. Justin was telling me about it. It's a set of keys, like a key ring. Wow. Sorry, I'm sure you will reference Chin Pokemon. Yes. The South Park episode where they had one called Shu. Yeah. But yeah, they basically have a guy that is a keychain Pokemon. <laughs> and he is straight up a keychain and he has actual keys hanging on him. And when he faints, he drops them. There's another one that's a, a trash Pokemon. Trubbish. Do you remember Trubbish? It was because it's so stupid. It's clearly when they went, oh man, we are totally running out of ideas. 
Oh, wait, a garbage bag. <laughs> what? Jig Jigglypuff, uh, I've, never played, I've never played a Pokemon before. Should I play this Pokemon? This seemed like a pretty good time to get back into it. Um, now that it finally looks, like it finally least looks different to the first game. I mean, for a long time there, they seemed, seemed like they were just touching up all those same sprites and everything. If you've never played Pokemon before, definitely play this Pokemon because you're going to think it's the best thing ever because oh, you've yeah. not... The thing about Pokemon is, is it is the same game. It's fundamentally the same game every single time. There are, no, like, there are little differences, sure, and it's set in a different place, but the setup's the same, the things you do are exactly the same, you go to the same gyms, it's all the same, okay? But if you've never played one before, definitely. I mean, they get their... The latest one is always the best one with Pokemon. You know, it's got a few tweaks in there that make it better. This one looks pretty too, because it's on 3DS. Um, and yeah, I, I'd totally say play this Pokemon. Well, there you have it. I should probably pick up Pokemon. It's kind of hard not to when your friends recommend it as fervently as that. And maybe that's Pokemon's trick. It's friends recommending it to friends on the schoolyard. And then you grow up and it's your friend recommending it to a friend at work. It's, it's almost like you're pining back to those days, that nostalgia of playing games with your mates. And that's a really powerful feeling. I hope this episode wasn't too strange. Apologies if it was. I've been rather busy uh, this past week. In fact, I just came back from my secret mission, which was at the US Embassy. You see, I picked up a visa because I'm going to be working in San Francisco from now on with our US colleagues. I'm moving out in a couple of weeks. So yeah, maybe I will pick up Pokemon and give it a blast for a little bit of a time while I'm here. So in the future, when a new Pokemon comes out, I can play it and remember good times, nostalgia, playing video games with dear old friends. See you next week. My brother, when he was maybe eight, really wanted to go to Japan. Yeah. I was like, why? He's like, because Pokemon are real. Oh. And I had to be the guy that said, I don't think they are. And he's like, no, no, no. My friend from school went to Japan. He saw a Squirtle. <laughs> and I was like, you sure it wasn't just a That'd regular? Yeah. Imagine seeing a Snorlax. I know. Jigglypuff would just like fuck shit up all over the place. Yeah, just people falling asleep behind the wheel of cars. <laughs> 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 Bulbasaur. Yeah. Um.